Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits, tuned voltage amplifier, tuned voltage amplifier. The tuned voltage amplifier amplifies the radio frequency signal. Tuned voltage amplifier amplifies the radio frequency signal. And also this tuned voltage amplifier performs the selection of desired radio frequency signal. Tuned voltage amplifier performs the selection of desired radio frequency signal. And by using the phenomena of resonance, the tuned voltage amplifiers are cute, capable of selecting a particular frequency. Selecting a particular frequency. By using the phenomena of resonance, the tuned circuit is capable of selecting a particular frequency. What is the phenomena of resonance? We know that. We know that the resonance, resonance is nothing but it is the phenomena it will occur whenever the inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance. Inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance. And the voltage gain of this uh, tuned amplifier at resonance is AV equal to beta into L by CR by R in. And B, uh, bandwidth equal to FR by Q. FR by Q. FR is nothing but resonant frequency. In a single tuned circuit, Q is nothing but quality factor. In a single tuned circuit, a high Q circuit will give high gain. A high Q circuit will give high gain. But here the Q value is high means the bandwidth value is low the bandwidth value is lost that means uh, in a single tuned circuit it is a high a high q circuit and will give high gain but its bandwidth will be reduced very much as the q value is high the bandwidth value will be low the bandwidth value will be low so in case of single tuned circuit uh, it is a uh, high q so it will give uh, high gain and but it bandwidth will be reduces very much okay to overcome the above problem double tuned circuits are developed double tuned circuits are developed in case of this double tuned circuits the condition for critical coupling the condition for critical coupling is kc equal to 1 by q if kc is less than 1 by q coupling is insufficient if kc equal to 1 by q the coupling is critical coupling if kc is greater than 1 by q the coupling is over coupled the coupling is over coupled and this tuned amplifier amplifier and this tuned power amplifiers are generally operated in class c operation very very important tuned power amplifiers are generally operated in class c operation okay once again Tuned voltage amplifier amplifies the radio frequency signal and also this performs the selection of desired radio frequency signal and by the phenomena of resonance this tuned amplifier circuit capable of selecting a particular frequency and the voltage gain of tuned amplifier at resonance is IV equal to beta into L by CR by RN and bandwidth equal to FR by Q. In case of single tuned circuit the Q value is very high so it is it, it will give us the high gain but uh, the high Q value means low bandwidth low bandwidth so that's why to overcome this uh, problem double tuned circuits are developed this in case of sub, uh, double tuned circuits the condition for critical coupling is kc equal to 1 by q if kc is less than 1 by q means the coupling is insufficient if kc is greater than 1 by q means over coupled over coupled if kc equal to 1 1 by q means it is a critical coupling and these tuned power amplifiers are generally operated in Class C operation. Class C operation. Okay. And the next one, opto electronic devices. Opto electronic devices. In case of modern solid state devices, which includes emitters, sensors, and couplers, are called opto electronic devices or electro optics. Opto electronic devices are electro optics in case of modern solid state devices which includes emitters sensors and couplers are called opto electronic devices or opto electro optics this opto electronic sensors are of two categories 
ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఫోటో కండక్టింగ్ కండక్టివ్ డివైసెస్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఫోటో వోల్టాయిక్ డివైసెస్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఫోటో కండక్టివ్ డివైసెస్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఫోటో వోల్టాయిక్ డివైసెస్ అండ్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఫోటో కమింగ్ టు ద ఫోటో కండక్టివ్ డివైసెస్ వెన్ రేడియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ ఆన్ ఎ సెమీ కండక్టర్ when radiation is incident on a semiconductor some absorption of light by the material takes place whenever the radiation the radiation is incident on a semiconductor some absorption of light by the material takes place due to this absorption and uh, its conductivity increases its conductivity increases this effect of is called this effect is called photoconductive effect that is whenever the radiation is incident in a semiconductor some absorption of light by the material takes place and due to this uh, absorption of light its uh, conductivity will be increases this effect is called photoconductive effect photoconductive effect and a photoconductive cell is a two terminal device which is used as a light dependent resistor ld or light dependent resistor photoconductive cell is a two terminal device which is used in a which is used as a light dependent resistor and photoconductors are made up of cadmium sulfide lead sulfide or cadmium selenide very very important the photoconductive conductors are made up of cadmium sulfide lead sulfide or cadmium selenide okay and next one photovoltaic devices this photovoltaic devices uh, produces a voltage when illuminated this photovoltaic cells produces vol- produces a voltage when illuminated and which may be this photo photovoltaic uh, uh, devices may be used directly to the supply small amounts of electric power this uh, this photovoltaic uh, devices may be used directly to supply they are used directly to supply small amounts of electric power small amount of electric power and next one opto coupler opto coupler this opto coupler is simply a photo transmitter and a light emitting diode combined in a single package combined in a single package opto coupler opto coupler is simply a photo transmitter and a light emitting diode led light emitting diode led light emitting diode led combined in a single package combined in a single package when a current flows in a, in the diode that means when a current flows in the light emitting diode uh, the emitted light the emitted light is directed to the photo transmitter and causes current flow in the transmitter okay in case of opto coupler it is a combination of both led and photo transmitter that is whenever current flows in the diode Uh, the emitted light is uh, the emitted light uh, by led is uh, uh, directed to the photo transmitter and then it causes current flow in the transmitter it, it causes current flow in the transmitter okay and once again opto electronic devices this devices includes uh, which device which includes emitters uh, sensors and couplers are called opto electronic devices these opto electronic sensors are also of two categories photoconductive devices and photovoltaic devices and this photoconductive devices uh, nothing but uh, when radiation is incident on a semiconductor some absorption of light takes place uh, and uh, this, and uh, due to this absorption the conductivity will be increases this effect is called photoconductive effect this photoconductive cell is a two terminal device which is used as a light dependent resistor and uh, photoconductors are made up of cadmium sulfide 
or lead sulfide or cadmium selenide these uh, materials are very very important and coming to the photovoltaic these are uh, used to directly to supply the small amounts of electric power this can be used to di use directly to supply the small amount of electric power and coming to the opto couplers opto coupler is uh, simply a combination of both led and photo transmitter whenever the current flows in the diode uh, the emitted light is uh, directed to the photo transmitter and it will cause us current flow in the transmitter and it will cause us current flow in the transmitter okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss remaining topics of electronic devices and circuits